Hi. Now in this video, what I want to do is show you how we can express sine 3 theta in terms of sine theta. And the method I'm going to use is by using the addition identity for sine of a plus b. It's an identity that you should be familiar with. Sine of a plus b is identical to sine a cos b plus sine b cos a. So we start by writing the sine of 3 theta as being identical to the sine of 2 theta plus theta. Or you could write it as theta plus 2 theta, it doesn't really matter. But in my example, the a represents 2 theta and the b represents theta. So following the identity here, this is going to expand to give us sine of 2 theta cos theta and then plus the sine of theta multiplied by the cosine of 2 theta. Now the sine of 2 theta is a double angle and we should be familiar with that identity. Generally you'll see it as the sine of 2a. It's identical to 2 sine a cosine a or cos a. Okay. So if we let a represent theta, we've got the sine of 2 theta then is identical to 2 sine theta cos theta. And I can replace sine 2 theta there then with that. So we've got 2 sine theta cos theta and all of that is multiplied by this cos theta. Now we come on to this second term here, plus sine theta times cos 2 theta. Well I'm going to change this cos 2 theta, it's a double angle and you should be familiar with the cosine of 2a. There's three versions for cosine of 2a but the one that we'd be interested in is the one that has got just sine of a in, okay? And that version is 1 minus 2 sine squared a. So hopefully you're familiar with that. So again here we're going to have a representing theta, so cos 2 theta would be identical to 1 minus sine squared theta. So we've got sine theta then multiplied by cos 2 theta which is now the same as 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. So what we need to do is just expand the brackets now. We've got one factor here multiplied by cos theta, so we're just going to get 2 sine theta times cos squared theta. So that's the first term, and then we expand this bracket, so we get sine theta times 1, so that's plus sine theta, and then sine theta times minus 2 sine squared theta is going to give us minus 2 sine cubed theta. So how are we doing? Well, the only term or factor here, cos squared theta, is the one that's giving us the problem now because we've still got to get it in terms of sine theta. So the final identity that we should be familiar with is the one that is sine squared of an angle, let's say a, plus cos squared of the same angle, a, is identical to 1. And we can rearrange this and make cos squared a the subject. Cos squared a would be 1 minus sine squared a. So we can use that here where a is theta and rewrite this as 2 sine theta multiplied by 1 minus sine squared theta. Okay, and then we've got these next two terms. So plus sine theta and then minus 2 sine cubed theta. So we just need to expand the bracket out and then we can group up terms and we should be finished. So 2 sine theta times 1 is 2 sine theta. 2 sine theta times minus sine squared theta is minus 2 sine cubed theta. And then we've got plus sine theta and then minus 2 sine cubed theta. So 
when we group this up, let's start with the sine theta term. So we've got 2 sine theta plus another sine theta, so that's 3 sine theta. And then when we group up the sine cubed terms, we've got minus 2 of them, minus another 2 of them, so that's minus 4 sine cubed theta. Okay, so that's one way that we can get that identity. And so you're going to need to use this set of identities up here to be able to do that. So do make sure that you're familiar with these ones, okay? And uh, hopefully that uh, gives you an idea how we can go about this particular type of problem, okay?